Are you tired of the same old boring paint colors? Look no further than Bear's Naturalist Gray. This shade will add a touch of sophistication to any room, making you feel like you're living in a chic treehouse. Whether you're a nature lover or just looking to spice up your interior design, Naturalist Gray is the perfect color for you, or at least it could be. So grab your paintbrush or at least a cup of tea and let's get wild with Naturalist Gray. Oh, I love the nature references. Okay. <laughs> so this is Color Quickie for those of you that are new to the channel. Subscribers, thank you for subscribing. Members, thank you for membering. I'm James, and this is all about painting and decorating. More specifically, we have Naturalist Gray as our featured color in this Color Quickie episode. We also have a color palette that I put together that includes three other colors and two trim options. So you kind of have a really great starting point, I would say, for a color scheme in your home. Maybe it'll inspire you to make your own palette or you'll just copy the one I gave you. Either way, I'm cool with it. So earlier I said that like, this is like an exciting color, but it's Naturalist Gray. Isn't gray boring? Not this one, at least not to me. I find it super dark, rich, and most importantly, it has a bit of green, which, I mean, you gotta love green, right? If you love nature, if you love going outside, if you love camping, if you love green gelatin, what's not to love, you know? <laughs> It's all good. So naturally this color, it does feel a little more organic than some of the more basic metallic grays that exist that maybe rely on a blue undertone a little bit more. This is very in tune with the earthier natural materials we seem to use more and more. And just anytime I go to like a really chic store, I see a lot more woods, I see a lot more rattans, a lot more organic, sustainable materials. And that's why I feel like green is such a good fit with all of that, because green really represents tranquility, nature, the jungle, all that good stuff that I really want to have in my house. I mean, who doesn't love Jumanji? It just vines everywhere. Naturalist Gray has this grounded feeling to it that does feel weighty, but also kind of calming, just, you know, makes me feel secure. Like it just has this feeling to it. But before we get too like out there and theoretical with color, Let's talk about some technical stuff. So the first thing that I love to mention is the LRV of any paint color I talk about. What it stands for is the light reflectance value and it's a percentage from zero to 100 representing how much light a color is reflecting. The higher that number, the lighter and brighter the color will appear. So where does this color stand? Well, I'll tell you. I tell you what? 26. Not a ton of light coming back off of it, about a quarter of it, but I find darker colors like this thrive in areas that either get a lot of light where the undertones can be prominent or areas that don't get very much light at all. So they get really moody, really dramatic, and it enhances that sort of dynamic aspect of what dark colors can do in a space. And also a fun fact, darker colors can make a space feel larger because it tricks your eyes into thinking that your walls are receding further than what they actually are. So it's kind of a fun little bonus. The undertone present here is sort of this soft, subtle, cool green. So green's the main kind of player here. And one thing I like to talk about when it comes to bear paint specifically is there's this similar color section that shows a ton of green. So that leads you to believe, oh yeah, it's like one of these other colors. Although a lot of those other greens are much warmer in comparison. They have more of a yellow undertone, which isn't really the case here. I wouldn't necessarily call naturalist gray all that warm, more so earthy, almost stone-like in a way. I also find it to be surprisingly flexible considering its saturation, but that's because it's within the neutral family, obviously with a name that has gray in it. It shouldn't feel too obnoxious in many situations. And I also find it to be a great accent colors for some of the colors coming up in a little bit, but it can also stand alone as a wall color with substance in those secondary spaces of your home that you can usually close off with a door. So they're not always in sight lines and all that. If you take the color outside, it's a suitable exterior choice, whether you want it on your shed, your house, your garage door. It just has a subtle bit of that green hue that gives it character. So it's not just black or off black or charcoal gray or even navy. It is a cool, charcoal green. And I think that is very fun. And I think if you're looking for something a little bit different, it could be a great choice. All right, my subscribers, you know what's coming up. Thanks for subscribing, by the way. Color pairing time. So I've picked a few other colors from Bear Paint that really go well with this color, in my opinion. The first one is called Milk Paint. 
Very different feel altogether, kind of by design. Milk paint has an LRV of 81, so that's way lighter, way brighter than naturalist gray. It definitely has a soft creaminess to it, not an overt amount of yellow. It's not gonna seem like yellow highlighter or anything. What it does though, is it brings a much needed lightness into the palette to begin with. It'll also suit a clean, warm, cozy, minimalist aesthetic, maybe even a Scandi sort of feel. I can really see it working nicely there. Any of those situations where you want the wall color to both blend into the background, but also reflect a lot of light back into the space. It accomplishes that really, really well. I could potentially see it being a good trim color, but my more preferred choices are coming up at the end of the video, so stay tuned. Next up, we have Morning Zen as my next color palette, and I love this color. I talk about it a lot. It has a 60 LRV, which is important to know because we love colors in the low 60s LRV wise. It's sort of a Goldilocks number, not too light, not too dark. It's never gonna feel all that washed out when you have a ton of light coming in from your windows or whatnot, but there's definitely a color there. And this is probably one of my favorite green paints by Bear Paint altogether. It's sort of a soft, delicate sage, and I find it to be an excellent wall color that follows the same sort of trend as Naturalist Gray. But instead of feeling, you know, prestigious, it's a bit more playful and airy. And I would say it's more of a suitable choice in the open areas of your home. And what's great about it is it's not gray. So it still has some personality and pizzazz, but it will incorporate itself nicely in those connective parts of your homes, like your hallways, and just gives you some color, which I think is fun. Next up is Elusive Dawn, LRV of 54. So this is a mid-tone color, still definitely not as dark as Naturalist Gray, but this sort of becomes a light accent color that feels a bit like a beigey light brown and it has a delicate peachy quality that should be brought forward even further next to some of the greens in the palette. Because of that beautiful, subtle complementary nature between this and Morning Zen and Naturalist Gray, that will heighten both colors in a very interesting way. And then when it's paired with Milk Paint, it's just gonna suit it really well in its own regard. Both similar colors, a little more warmer leaning. Those two coordinate really well, nothing really complementary there. They just work because they're not green. <laughs> now we gotta finish off with some trim colors. We have two options, a light option for probably most of you, and then a darker choice in case you want something a little more bold and uh, punchy. So Gallery White is an 82 LRV, really bright color, very clean and minimal, dare I say a bit stark, kind of like an art gallery. It's not meant to sort of pull focus, it's just white. Very clean white trim option, good choice for the majority of you, I would say. White baseboards is kind of a classic, but Maybe the new classic is my darker option, which is called Instant Classic. This is an LRV of seven, so by far the darkest color in this video. It's kind of an espresso brown with a hint of a red undertone, which almost gives it a shaded purple quality to it. It still feels within the overall naturalistic quality of the palette, I would say, while still bringing in an interesting nuance to really keep things fun and contemporary. Excellent door choice inside and outside. And of course you can use it as your baseboard and frame color as well. For those rooms where you really want something contrasty or just different. Here's the palette all together. Let me know what you think. I have so much fun with these videos, y'all. Check this one out next. And if you wanna become a member, you just gotta click that join button. You support us with a cup of coffee every month. I really appreciate it. I could definitely use another cup right now.